move on to our next uh, participant. Adis, please uh, join us. Um, this grand strategy, I, I think we could call this a grand strategy, the one belt and one road, um, to, to de develop corridors westward from, from uh, China is obviously crossing the Central Asian areas. And uh, now how could this come to affect an already very fragile region? Are the you know, positive and negative here? I have to have a talk first with the person who turned off the clicker. Uh, yes, and as we've seen, uh, China has uh, and it's seeking to, to increase its sphere of interest and uh, has established several initials, bo initiatives, both uh, economic and uh, security-based initiatives to, to, to work together with its neighbors. Uh, but uh, China is not the only major superpower with, with interest in the region, and the other one is, is Russia. Uh, and the Central Asian countries, all being uh, a part of the former Soviet Empire, uh, are, are, are part of the Russian interest sphere. Um, and as well as seeking economic influence, there are also security uh, implications from from Russia. So, <clears throat> and in in another way, Russia is involved is, is through migration. So, uh, for example, a country like Tajikistan, um, more than half of the country's economy is uh, based on uh, remittances from migrant workers in, in Russia. So, the region is, is uh, highly interlinked to both uh, China and Russia, and uh, usually it's being at the crossroad between Europe and, uh, and Asia, it's, it's seen as uh, analy analyzed in terms of its uh, attractiveness or, or strategic uh, interest to in, in external power, uh, powers particularly be having a lot of oil and, and uh, gas. But uh, this can be reversed as well, so uh, uh, developments within the region can have uh, a, a profound impact on countries uh, around it, on its neighbors, and, and even the European Union in, in, the, in the second sense. And uh, particularly in, in the light of, of climate change and even extreme impacts from climate change, this, uh, there, is, there is some considerable uh, Linkages to it. Can you just elaborate on that? How exactly, microphone. exactly the climate will change will play a role connecting those Central Asia, Russia, and, and China? Well, uh, the, the, the region, as you can see here, is, is uh, highly, highly unsustainable, uh, both uh, environmentally and socially and, and, and politically. And uh, currently, the countries are uh, locked in into various unsustainable practices in. in for example, water, uh, energy, agriculture, and uh, security. And um, there are uh, major challenges for, for the region as they are continuing to, to compete for scarce and uh, unpredict unpredictable resources as, as inputs to various economic sectors. Uh, and uh, one example, perhaps, that, uh, that shows this particularly well is uh, the development of the Aral Sea over the fa past few decades. Uh, once being uh, one of the five largest seas in the world, uh, it has uh, more or less become completely devastated. Uh, and this, this is even without climate change. So climate change will add an, an additional layer to this. Uh, this development is mainly due to uh, irrigation practices, unsustainable irrigation, irrigation practices, uh, mainly related to, uh, to cotton. So, uh, looking at climate change and uh, through, for example, uh, changing patterns in glaciers and changing patterns in, in rainfall, uh, the, the risks and uh, impact will be added. There will be an additional risk. Mm. But, and uh, moreover, there is um, the, the, the key links and flows that are uh, vulnerable to cl climate change are highly interlinked. But uh, this, uh, this interlinkage between risks be, puts uh, not only uh, a negative aspect to it, but also potential to, to collabor collaborate. As the countries, uh, they're not simply sharing borders, but also post-Soviet uh, institutional structures, uh, as well as similar topography. Uh, there is, um, looking at it from a system perspective, there is potential for uh, co collaboration. And uh, Javier, to tell you, this is a simplified figure. <laughs> um, <coughs> so that's a grand strategy for co collaboration. Yeah. yeah. And uh, looking at the region itself, uh, at, the, at the heart of it is uh, the transboundary water governance, which, which has impacts on every, every, every country in the region, as well as 
the neighboring countries. Uh, and following on from the transboundary water governance in terms of the potential shocks and, and collapse, hydropower is one, one such uh, key link. And uh, high, a potential for hydropower is massive in the region. It can power the whole region as well as provide uh, export credits. Uh, but to dealing with hydropower, there needs to be uh, there is, it needs to be dealt with the downstream issue of, of irrigation, as well as uh, the the potential shocks in in cotton and uh, wheat. Uh, wheat is uh, the, the Central Asia is the breadbasket of the world, and, and Kazakhstan is one of the major wheat producers and uh, exports. All the other countries are uh, depending on the exports from Kazakhstan. So how, what, what happens to water will in the end have effects on these different links. As well as looking at the other side on the, in terms of supply risk and insecurity, uh, the, the huge oil and gas sector will uh, be impacted on, on the availability of water. And all these, all these uh, links are traded, not only nationally but internationally. And as well, looking at the further step, as I mentioned before, migra both migration and security will, will have high implications on how, how water is, in the sense that water is dealt with. So, looking at, to, to summarize it, uh, the, simply that success or failure of transboundary water governance will, be, uh, will have a major influence on future availability for, for energy and for agriculture, and as well as for livelihoods for the entire, entire region. Uh, this irrespective of climate change, but uh, as an additional layer, climate change can help speed up this, both in terms of impacts and in terms of collaboration. Thanks, thanks a lot, Addis. Uh, come and join us here. Um,